Welcome everyone to Amon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, where today the fourth ranked TCU Horn Frogs play host to the Texas Longhorns. It's a Big 12 battle between two teams who come into this one from opposite ends of the emotional spectrum. Back deep with a kick from Nick Rhodes. And we're underway. Very little breeze as the game begins. Here's Turpin. Nice haul. Flag down. Turpin down at the 20. During the return of the kick. Holding. Receiving team. Number four. Ten yard penalty. First down. Opens in the shotgun. And the fake to Aaron Green. And under pressure. Four wide receivers spread the field for Boykin. They have a lot of injuries at wide receiver. He throws a rocket on in the warm-ups. They'd love to have him back. He can fly. Boykin faked the handoff and did not option. And he took care of it. Ethan Perry, four-year starter at punter. Short tumbling kick to Colt McCoy. So he's in great company. Looking to throw on first down. He's a dangerous runner. Pulled in the opener, the entire team did at Notre Dame as they got routed. They made the change to Hurd. He's provided a spark. There's a loose ball on the field as DeJay Johnson got rocked. And the ball's out and recovered by TCU. They're concerned about and they've been struggling with in the first few ball games was their open field tackling. And right there, longest streak in the country. Boykin, after a fake to the right, looks over the middle, and it's batted down. By Smart. Pistol now for the TCU offense. Boykin, again, plenty of time, and an open receiver near sideline. Coverage from Texas. They're challenging these cornerbacks to cover, especially Josh Dotson. Here we see him going down the field. Deep toward the end zone. There's contact and a flag. Defense. See, Holton five. panicked right there. That's a Senior true freshman penalty. mistake. He's Automatic. right in First perfect down. times in the game against Rice. The walk off to the 17 yard line. Boykin faked the handoff on the Jets. Fumble return for a touchdown against Oklahoma State. Boykin again all day to throw. Wide open receiver. Touchdown, TCU. Camonte Turpin, the true freshman. Touchdown in three of the last four games for Turpin. The Horn Frog strike quickly after the takeaway. Jaden Oberchrome adds Pasity here to their home season to date. And they'll have an overflow crowd again today. Play man to man on Dotson all day. You can't have mental errors in the secondary, and that's what a young secondary will give you at times. An established rhythm. One way to get a young quarterback in rhythm is pace. Blitz from the other side was picked up in one of the best third down defenses in the country. The Corey Warren dropped for a loss. So if you have a 190 pound middle linebacker over the head, well, more special teams problems. Michael Dixon didn't handle the snap. And that's his fault way over the head of Dixon this time. Yeah, it's, it's the story of Texas right now. Self and ball, they're going over the top. Free kick from the 20. They put it on the tee for Rose, and he picks it out of bounds. After his TD pass to Turpin earlier in this quarter, he fires another rocket for a first Texas. They get up to the line very quickly. Aaron Green weaves through the traffic, gets a left right. Five-man rush for Texas. They don't get close. Boykins throw low. On second and three. It is a run. It's an option pitch back to Aaron Green. Transfer from Nebraska. Field five wide receivers. They fake the jet sweep. Single coverage. Right side of the end zone for Dotson. Touchdown, TCU.
Yeah, that's a catch. Possessed it the entire way. Got the foot down. Holton Hill, the freshman again with the tough task of trying to cover one of the best wide receivers in the country. And the extra point good from Jaden Oberchrome. Just at another level. He's on, to me, he's the best in the country at going up and tracking the football. Other leading playmakers on offense, DeJay Johnson. Rod Hurd, deep throw, and it's boundary. So, I mean, that's just, again, close. Close for linebackers TCU plays with. There you go. Jonathan, consistent basis. Top running back recruit out of high school. Hasn't had that prolific career they expected. He's been solid. Any anger or frustration as this game progresses. Well, the snap is on target, and it was caught, so that's a good start. <laughs> and a fair catch made by Cavante. Trevon Boykin takes off running. And is on second and five, it's Aaron Green. Woo, and knocked down by his. And the pass incomplete. Dotson. Well, Dotson's a money down player. That's why he went to him. Stared him down. Ethan Perry punts. And Duke Thomas gets away from it. Again, that would have been. First and ten. Texas. Dante Foreman. But hey. First first down of the day for Texas, followed by a long Cassidy, thank you. Here at 16-0, TCU trying to win its 13th straight game. Foreman. Heard throw short, and the catch is made, but it's well short. Michael Dixon, freshman from Australia. Shank off to the right. Recruited those camps. On first down, it's Aaron Green in trouble. Manage have your stars, but he's the one that helps set it up. Breaks tackles, crosses midfield. Boykin throws near sideline. Turpin's open again. Nifty move and on to the goal line. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. We have a wheel route. The responsibility of the outside fender is to run with the wheel route. And they expose number 21, Duke Thomas, looking in the backfield and chasing again, vacating his area of responsibility. And when you have a veteran quarterback like Trevon Boykin, knowing where to go with the ball, reading coverages and delivering strikes, that's the result. Jaden Obercrum. TCU kicks off with a 23 to nothing lead. They're going to try it. Chris Boyd, the true freshman, hesitated in the end zone with Hurd. Marcus Johnson went in motion. Hurd. That's what he can do. Jonathan Gr had 163 yards of offense. Charlie Strong made a change. Heard kept it after the fake. If you're going to go completely to it, then go to the guy that knows it. And Sean's handled it well. Heard down. The ball pops out. Looked like he hit the ground, and then it popped out. And undoubtedly, they'll review that. Linebacker starting. It's over 210 review, pounds. The quarterback's arm was down prior to okay. fumbling the ball. It'll be third down, 23 at the 16-yard line. The chance to clinch the division as they play the Angels. Third and 23, Hurd can't squeak out of the pile. If this punt doesn't go well, Dixon might be looking at a bus ticket back to Austin. Short punt, and it's muffed! Devontae Turpin couldn't field it. There's a flag thrown. Of that game. There were a couple of During very questionable pitch. calls. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number two. Ten-yard penalty. First down. 
2.53 to go, first quarter. Frogs from their own 38. Boykin, good catch of a slightly high. Aaron Green's turn. Four-man rush for Texas on second and seven. The catch made over. Devon Boykin has his man. First down for the third freshman wide receiver seeing action because of the injuries ahead of him on the depth chart. Aaron Green. That's a backward pass. This is going to be another pass. Sean Nixon to the end zone. Touchdown. Josh Dotson. They lined up very quickly, went into the bag of tricks, and Texas had no answer. They weren't lined up. And, you, you know, you, you, you have to be prepared for that. When you play TCU, you know that's coming. You know that they go hurry up after a first down or a big play. You've got to be prepared, and you have to have one call that you go to in that type of situation so everybody's on the same page. Six plays to go 62 yards over Chrome's extra point. Makes behind Baylor, Ole Miss, Texas Tech, and Memphis. They might have 51 and a half the way this is going. Oberchrome kicks off. 30 here locally this afternoon. Deontay Foreman somehow managed to break free and he rumbles out of positive yards. Earning reps. He gets the call up the middle. All TCU, and that's putting it mildly in the first quarter. They run about a yard and a half. Texas went quickly. And Foreman got the first step. Your passing game off the running game. And leaning very heavily on the run right now. Rod Hurd throws to the near side. Marcus Johnson. Gang. On third down and five. Hurd with time. Deep throw, and it is caught, but is he inbound? Putting to catch a ball, ball in the air. And then Foreman's first foot was down inbounds. Hurd on the design roll through the hand. Jonathan Gray gets the carry that time. Here they expect Lathan will be back next week. And they've moved safeties to linebacker. And they're playing the second and third stringers and some walk-ons at a lot of positions. 39-yard field goal. Trey Holtz, the grandson of Lou Holtz, is the holder. And ranked number four in the country, the number two in the preseason. Boykin after a pump fake, a late throw. Vance Bedford calls, especially what they play in this Big 12 video game football. The high scores, it seems, in every game. Desmond White got. We'll see. Personal foul. Targeting. Yeah. Defense. Number 31. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. The previous play is now under further review. After review, there is no foul for targeting. It'll be first down and 10 mm -hmm. at the 43. It is a foul. It can also obviously be overturned as it was in the review. The absence of Emmanuel Porter. They hope he'll be back next week. He injured a leg at Texas Tech last weekend. <laughs> down the sideline. Receivers, and they believe that the ball hits their hands, they bring it in. Oh, distance where if you're inclined to run a fake, you might. Ahead 30 to nothing. They kick it away. Fair catch made by 10, 10 Longhorns. Texas from its own 12. Jonathan Gray powers ahead for a hard earned couple. 57 yards of offense to this point for Texas. They stick with the ground. It's Jonathan Gray, two yards. And of course, Texas and Oklahoma renew their great rivalry next week with the cotton. End of runs that they desperately need. I got 208 pounds knocking the guy backward that needs to get a yard. Got to get tougher. Michael two touchdowns today on four catches. Boykin. 
Also a talented runner. Down as soon as you can to avoid any unnecessary contact. Kyle Hicks gets the carry. Soft. Boykin can also throw it. He can catch it. He's played some wide receiver here. Check off all the boxes except height. He's just a fraction under six feet tall. Got to catch it. Catch the ball. Mm -hmm. Well, the fill-in punt returner back there. Texas on its own four and Deontay Foreman drop or defensive tackle like Pearson you make plays Foreman found a crease well, they're playing in fifth gear and Texas is playing in third gear Heard handed it off on the delay good call and well executed and Foreman broke a couple Rod Hurd, deep ball, has a man behind the defense, and it's dropped. Arm it looked like they were making progress even with some losses in recent weeks. Certainly the offense. Under seven minutes to go in the half. Same play as the last foot up with a knee injury. Didn't make the trip. They've been using Elijah Rodriguez, number 72, for the most part of right. And with Rodriguez in there as a redshirt freshman on the offensive line, they're playing with three freshman offensive linemen. Doesn't stop his feet on contact. Drive started at the Texas four. Comes to try to run through it. Same on defense. Run through it. Jonathan Gray looking for running room. Excuse me. Timeout called by Texas. First charge. Timeout, Texas. Classy guy, great in the community as well. So proud of what his school is accomplishing. On third and five, thrown out to Deontay Foreman. Great job to make the first man miss. He's, a, he's tremendous. For the post. Gerard Hurd throws far sideline, incomplete. The year coming in. Deontay Foreman tripped up. Flag before the snap. Illegal snap infraction, number 74. Five yard penalty, third down. They've converted three third downs on this drive. They had just two for the game prior to this drive. Hurd gets away, has some space now, needs to get to the 28-yard line, running for the marker. It looks like he has it. it. Was not a first down. This is fourth down. Jonathan Gray with the second try in the country in total defense, but much better today against Texas. Gerard Hurd. Couldn't find anybody. Takes off running. Gets set four. Texas trying to get on the board. High snap. Heard in trouble. Wisely goes down for, for GP. Third down and seven. Plenty of time for Heard. Throws toward the end zone. And it's incomplete. Intended. Hold your breath if you're a Texas fan. It's a special teams play. Charlie Strong stayed with him. He was the last young man to leave the locker room well after everybody else had. Charlie stayed with him. They had a long talk. Dots on the catch. He delivers a stiff arm. But Rose has been inconsistent throughout his career. And again, this season, Dotson again. He made both of them against Oklahoma State. Yeah, it's such a fragile position mentally for kickers. Dotson <laughs> couldn't snare it with winners. Devontae Turpin on his way to the end zone again. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. His third touchdown of the game. Pre snap reach, Sean. It's an automatic right here. You got Turpin on number 19. And it's no matchup for Jenkins. I mean, you can't expect to have your guy cover him one on one man-to-man -man without any safety help. Now the safety was late.
but Turpin is so quick and so elusive, and they made a conscious effort to get him involved in this offense because of his explosiveness, and you're seeing it today. And the injuries to others open the door. Now we know why the coaches weren't that concerned about the injury with at least one touchdown pass. That's the longest streak in the nation. Corey Warwick takes the short kick and gets shoved. They are up to 100 yards rushing in the half, so that's a bright spot. Armand, they're getting hit. The TCU, and here comes Deontay Foreman rumbling for the first down. The Gary Patterson coaches coaching their own. Very far. I've been in these situations when you're getting hammered. You've got to refocus and play a second half as a separate game. Chris Boyd back deep for the kickoff. NFL scouts as they look at Dotson, does he play off the ball? And he did there. Hurd's throw incomplete together. This is playing together and playing more. Donovan Gray trying to weave his way through. And they start to click on third down late in the first half. A blitz and Hurd gets away. Escape Montrell Wilson. The first thing Wilson's done wrong today. But finally, Michael Dixon, his best effort. High booming kick. Fair catch signal for and made by for touchdowns responsible for. Boykin takes off running and runs out of bounds. Plays it, of course. They narrowly missed being among the four teams in the college football playoff last year. So every chance. The ability to be able to adjust your hips in the air for a 6 3 man, it's essential for a productive receiver in the next level to do that. Seventh catch of the day for Dotson. Now Aaron Green. He drops. Pistol now with Aaron Green behind Boykin. Green running right. The recruited out of high school went to Wyoming for one football season. Came home to go to a junior college and then wound up walking on here. They're glad he did. Turpin continues to have an enormous day. His fourth touchdown of the game well it's recognition of pre-snap when you have Nashawn Hughes who's a linebacker trying to guard number 25 Turpin it's a mismatch and that's where Boykin has really excelled his game from last year to this year's the pre-snap reads and throwing a high catchable ball taking advantage of a running back lined up on a linebacker no match Jaden Oberchrome for the extra point. They went 78 yards in just five plays in a minute and 48 seconds. 44 nothing for the Frogs. Oberchrome's kickoff down to Chris Boyd. And a lot of explosive guys in where TCU has about seven of them coming at you seven different ways. Heard throwing deep into double coverage. And it's in. Grounders in the last five years. The lack of first and second rounders haven't had a, an offensive guy drafted in the first round at the quarterback position. Texas should be. Tyrone swoops in a quarterback now. They used him last week in short yardage situations. Of course, Jay Norvell was at Oakland. 53 yards or 43 yards on a year. Heard back in there. And that's what he can do. Like Because they don't have any explosive guys making plays. Mm. Good attitude. Outstanding play. And come right back to Deontay Foreman. Now, they're going to places like TCU and A&M for a variety of reasons. Baylor, of course. Oh. Beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. And Caleb is from San Diego. Congratulations to them. Michael Dixon's punt goes into the end zone. They went on that year to win the national championship. Aaron Green on first down for the Horned Frog. He's the biggest reason why Notre Dame is where it's sitting so far this season. Aaron Green again for Michigan. I, I can see them really in 10 to 15 range. Looked like a problem, and it remains a problem. As our TCU home win in that entire stretch was in 1992. This has a chance to be TCU's biggest win ever against Texas. From the 46, Aaron Green, this TCU route over Texas. 
Yeah. LT was really here when it started to turn. Dennis Franchoni can coach the year award, but they, they all count at some point or another. Boykin over the middle. They know what they marry. Ethan Perry's punt. Takes a great bounce for the Frogs, and they'll down it at the 8. Yeah. Golden Tate, get that offense going. First down, Texas. The Longhorns from their own. Eight. Always have a two-on-one situation, and they're trusting their safeties to take anything deep, and they take away all underneath routes with combination coverage. Trying to set up a little struggle, certainly, but I think TCU is executing at a high level, and their young players are starting to get it and having defensive tackles. Teddy's Wilson were arrested a few weeks ago on suspicion of robbery charges with bodily injury. They were facing felony charges. They were from the 45-yard line, first and 10. Trevon Boykin. Long throw right on target. Protect him at all costs. Devontae Turpin. Mindset, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Boykin gets away from the rush. Now he should slide and get down. <laughs> Sonny Cumbie, the offensive coordinator, co-coordinator, told us they all call him Big B, so Big B it is. Aaron Green, yards of total offense per game as an individual in Texas had as a team entering today's game. Running again. And I'm starting to come over to protect him because one of these things, a frustrated Texas player might take a shot. Not a dirty shot, but a hard shot. Hicks rumbles into the end zone. Touchdown. I think the other point, too, is, I mean, you've established, though there's a holding penalty. This Offense, is coming back. Number 65. 10-yard penalty. First down. You've established. Those guys have to go after the same guys. You're right. That could be a factor. Boykin throws it. Turpin takes a little swing. His four touch. One, let's see if Boykin identifies. Boykin to the far side of the field. And then third down and ten, they get nine as Jalen Austin fell down. First and goal. Kyle Hicks. And a touchdown taken away a moment ago. On the I, you know, we what? Made, made, here you go. You always have a grade. There's the uh, arm strength. Does he fight? Better than he did a year ago when he first picked it up. On third and goal, he throws and it's dropped. That's the most among any field goal kicker in the country. This 23-yarder makes it 47 to nothing. This year, further than they were last year at this point in time. It's offensively where their struggles are. Urban has settled on Cardale Jones as a starter. And let's see if they can get their rhythm going. Chris Boyd. College footballs, which, uh, you know, I love. I mean... What Notre Dame's doing is special to me. Heard launching one deep, and it's a little bit too deep for John. Swings it out wide for Marcus Johnson. Tyrone Swoops running for his life, throws it up for grabs. Won some key battles. Charlie Strong and his staff still trying to establish themselves in the state of Texas. From Houston. Well, Trevon Boykin's day is over. Boris Johnson is the running back. Taking advantage and playing against some pretty good competition against Texas Tech after our ball game. John. Kohlhausen out in the flat. Dominic Merka. Upended by to recruit skilled players and put them at the position he foresees them. Boris Johnson again. More of a pro style quarterback, not as much of a runner as Boykin. The good news for both teams today the penalties down dramatically from a week ago. False start. Offense, number 52. Five yard penalty, second down. Elliott Roster, who's a dynamic player himself. Good competition next year. Johnson.
Trying to get outside to the right. He's out of bounds. Trevon Boykin runs this offense as well as anybody that I've watched. And the receivers can confidence back up. He had a rough week last week at Texas Tech. Had a short field goal blocked. He was wide right on another one from just 25 yards. Flag before the kick. Disconcerting signals. Defense number 21 jamming the offense's signals. That's a five yard penalty. It'll still be fourth down. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> yard try. Mentioned he struggled lately, but from 40 plus in his career, 70.6%. Only Allen. Seven catches, 129, two touchdowns. Obercrome kicks off. And no chance stays this way. It'll be the biggest win ever for TCU over Texas. Tyrone Swoops remains the quarterback. Florida. And it's a similar situation here. It's going to take a little time to build it up. Than they've been through most of the last many decades. There's more competition to get the best players to come to your school in this state. Flag down as the pass is He's eligible downfield. Offense, number 72. Five-yard penalty. First down. He a lot of young players. Yep. Trying to coach up guys who really shouldn't be playing. If you had more to doing that, why not play that way? Make that transition easier. That's the conclusion. Growing up in Texas saying, man, I, I, I've got to be a Longhorn. That's the goal. That's the end goal. It's just not the case anymore. Well, I think we've been covered. After the swoops run, it's third down and seven. He throws to Amante. Elite, elite perimeter players like they once had. Look out. Swoops has a lot of work to do, and he won't do it. Wrestle. Couple of years, and boy, Beautiful. it is magnificent. Weight room, indoor facility, outstanding. It's about $164 million, all of it from private donation. Row of 50-plus. Graham. Cole Hausen, the backup quarterback, still in there. Oh, Hawkeyes 5-0. Oh. How about that? Cole Hausen. <laughs> Thunder Vision, my next job. Oh, Iowa undefeated. <laughs> Ethan Perry. <laughs> Maybe we can see if Cassidy's been also streaming live on Watch ESPN. First and 10, Texas. Deontay Foreman on the delay. Somebody's got to step up and play some defense in that game. That's the Feel that better. Makes the most plays on defense will win. You would think that would be the case. Both offenses are prolific. Long throw. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Number 91. That 15-yard penalty will be added on to the end of the pass. Low scoring. One possession games. In this football day and age, you might have to win the shootouts. In the end zone and a flag for Lewis. Yeah. Had the Pass coverage. interference. Offense, number six. And it's on McNeil. 15-yard penalty. First down. This is a good call. Lewis is going to grab the shoulder. Yeah. And again, is this, is this defense was struggling with confidence. It ended this way with match the second biggest shutout loss ever suffered by... For the end zone again for Burt. Lots of hand fighting there and a flag thrown. And that. Pass interference. Defense. Number two. 15 yard penalty. Automatic first down. And I, I just want to make a point about Gary Patterson in practice on 4 3 40. But he plays like a 4 6 because he's uncertain at times. There's a catch, we think. And a touchdown. Lorenzo Joe. It's a double move, and he's going to beat Mealy because Mealy gets beat inside and swoops, throws him open, throws to a spot. And Joe, the young receiver, makes a positive catch and secures it through the ground. So Texas will not be shot out. It remains to be seen if it'll be the largest margin of victory for TCU ever against Texas. 
Blue Jays a month ago? <laughs> Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. To be honest. <laughs> More like receivers and something that Texas will, will try to develop and grow. That's what they need if they're going to commit to this offense. Boris Johnson took the hand up. 38 yards receiving. Johnson. Holding. Offense. Number 11. 10 yard penalty. Second half. It's the Broncos coming up. You got a lot to keep track of in your family. <laughs> I do. Wheaton. Good big game. Liking. I think it's it's going to switch so much. Who, who do you like, Sean? I mean, you, you're... Oh. Well, I still think Ohio State has the best team. I'm not sure they played the best, right. as you said earlier this point. But good is LSU. The only question there, can Brandon Harris win him a ball game, the quarterback, if he needs... If they continue to develop at this rate. Well, that's always the case. And Les Miles gets it about redeem playoff last year. And he's not shy about saying the goal is a national championship. He has six years left on his contract. He's 55. He said, I'd like to win it with such grace. And then they went out and put an absolute beatdown on Ole Miss in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, demonstrating that perhaps they were worthy of being in the Final Four. He said he understood why they didn't get in. Stacy Boyd carries on what should be the last play of the game. Well, signs of progress the last few weeks for Texas. With very few bright spots here today against the team trying to reestablish itself. And perhaps they did today with a convincing win for TCU and Gary Patterson. 50-7 the final coming up next on ESPN News Goal Line. Thanks for watching. Well, Trevon, first of all, congratulations. You break the career touchdown passing record Andy Dalton had set previously. What does that mean? As a guy who started a wide receiver and moved over to quarterback, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, I mean, just like we talked about in the pregame, you, you never doubt the heart of a champion. And we really just tried to come out here and play today and play our game and, and uh, really just let the rest take care of itself. We didn't really try to be, do too much or try to just try to stay level-headed as possible. What's the difference between the way you're operating this offense today compared to maybe a year ago when it was your first few games in the system? Um, it, we were a veteran offense. We got a lot of guys. That's, this is the second year. Uh, we, so basically, we, we try not to make the same mistakes we did last year and just try to come out and play hard. We've given our analysis on, on uh, Josh Dotson, the wide receiver. Why don't you tell us what you think makes him so special? Man, he, he, his, he has unbelievable hands. I mean, he, uh, he's like a security blanket for a quarterback. I mean, you put the ball in the air and just he comes down with it most of the time, and that's really all you can ask for out of a guy like that. Congratulations, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you.